Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, video. In this video, we're gonna be going through how we configure the FortiGate for internet access. We'll go through the configuration of the uh, interfaces, uh, whether you're gonna configure the or one interface statically, so the or ISP gave you uh, a static public IP, or you're gonna configure your one interface as DHCP and you will get a dynamic IP address and DNS from the ISP. We'll also go through the routes and the uh, policies to get your 40 uh, full uh, and users uh, full internet connectivity so let's get started all right so this is the topology that we're going to be working on we have a 40 gate behind uh, acting as the uh, internet gateway we have users behind the 40 gate and the network uh, 10.0 and uh, now uh, the one interface in uh, my environment is using a private IP address, which is because uh, it's a um, private environment. Now um, for uh, actual one interfaces, we, you're going to be using public IP addresses. All right, so uh, let's get started here. We'll start with the interface setup. Now, if you want to set up the interface, the one interface as a static IP address, you will uh, access the one interface. You will set up IP and uh, mask. In my case, it's 1.60. And uh, the gateway that I have is uh, 1.1. And now, this is uh, role is undefined. You can set the role as one. Uh, you can see that you will have some uh, option, for example, the estimated bandwidth for upstream and downstream you can specify that uh, this is only available in the role in the role that's one that's one role uh, you can see it's not available in the LAN and also the DHCP server uh, gets removed in the uh, one role all right now it's not recommended when you have a one interface to have admin um, access rights but this is just a test environment so i have http https uh, enabled now i i have configured my one interface ip uh, again this is just a private ip address and real world scenario you're not going to have a private ip address most likely so i'll go ahead and press ok now the next thing we want to do is configure the static route so I'll go ahead here and so if, if I try to ping the internet now, FortiGate would not have any uh, connectivity because I don't have a static route. Uh, I'll go ahead and create a static route. The interface is going to be the one interface. My gateway address is 192.168.1.1. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, now I should be able to have internet connection on the uh, 40 gate now uh, to be able to allow a user behind the 40 gate and internet access will need to configure a policy so we have a policy already set up but i'm going to go through it this policy is lan to uh, internet the internal um, interface on the 40 gate is port 2 and the ip address is 192168 10.254 so you can see this is the 10 network. Now, in this policy, when it was created, the incoming interface was uh, internal uh, network port 2. Uh, the outgoing interface is your one outgoing interface. Uh, it's a standard policy. Uh, now, in my example, I have the source specified as all. Now, um, you could specify only the network if you want, only the network 192.168.10.0 and here uh, actually let's go ahead and create an address let's do LAN so 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and I can specify only LAN interface and the out the destination is all because i want these users behind the line to access everything on the internet now uh, you can uh, obviously limit those to internet services for example 
that this subnet only can access. Fortigate has a list of internet services uh, that's uh, automatically configured in the Fortigate. Uh, the NAT here has to be uh, enabled because uh, the traffic, when it comes from the private network, it needs to be NATed to the uh, public one uh, interface uh, address. So it's going to appear that the traffic is coming when it leaves the FortiGate and goes to the internet. Uh, the internet would be able to know how to get back to this uh, interface. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now we've set up the uh, interface, we've set up the uh, static route, and we've set up the policy. Uh, we'll go ahead and test the user. This user that I have here is in the uh, LAN network. It's behind port 2. So let's check the IP address. IP address is 10.10. .10. The 40-gate IP address, which is the gateway uh, here is 192.168.10.254. This is the 40 gate uh, internal port to IP address. So let's go ahead and ping to the internet. So I don't see any um, connectivity in here. Now let's check why this is happening. So I'm not able to uh, access the internet. Let's go ahead and check why. Uh, let's go back to the 40 gate. And uh, I can see here that internal network port 2 is not configured. So let's go ahead and switch it to manual. Let's do 192.168.10.254 slash 24. And let's do ping. Enabled. So let me double check. Now this machine is able to ping the internal FortiGate interface. Let's see if it's going to be able to ping to the internet, and it is. Okay, so uh, this is the scenario where you configure the interface, the one interface has static IP address. Let's say the ISP has uh, allocated a static IP address to you. You are like, a, for example, a business uh, location, and let's say you wanted to do uh, IPsec tunnel between your FortiGate uh, acting as the gateway with another 40 gate uh, so that's why you wanted static IP address uh, and some examples of some scenarios let's say you are like a, in a home network uh, it's likely that the uh, ISP would allocate dynamically an IP address to you so uh, in that case uh, you will configure the one interface as DHCP now when you configure it as DHCP, the 40 gate is going to be uh, sending a DHCP request to uh, whatever uh, the ISP has as their uh, router uh, facing your 40 gate. And is going to be asking for IP address to be assigned to it. So uh, in, my, in my example here, I have my uh, home router that is acting as the internet uh, facing. Uh, so should be able to get an IP address. So I, I lost the connection to the uh, FortiGate GUI uh, because I switched the one interface which I was using in my private uh, environment as the HTTPS access. Uh, I switched it to DHCP to, so the IP address has changed. Now uh, let's go back to the FortiGate and Let's check the FortiGate interface configuration. Show port one. Um, so this is to show. So this is port one that I'm using as the one. Mode is DHCP now. So it got assigned an IP address from my router. Uh, let's check what's the IP address that the FortiGate one interface has been assigned to. And it is uh, 192.168.1.77. Now, in your environment, um, you know, when, you, when you're setting up one uh, interface, uh, it's recommended to have uh, your uh, the, the management, the specific management, uh, 40 gate IP address if you have a virtual environment. Uh, if you have a physical device, then there would be a dedicated management IP address uh, or interface uh, assigned to the 40 gate. 
so when you uh, configuring the one settings and the IP address change you don't lose the GUI access uh, as in this example all right so now the IP address is 192.168.1.77 177 Okay, so uh, now the 40 gate got an interface, uh, an IP address, sorry, from the uh, my uh, internet router. Uh, and it also acquired the DNS from that router and the default gateway. So in this scenario, I have retrieved the default gateway from the server, which is the my home router and also the vortigate right now is using the firewall home router i can disable that and make have the vortigate use its own uh, dns settings and i can disable retrieve default gateway from the server if i want to use my own uh, static ip uh, st static route okay so let's check the route and it's getting an admin it's getting a route from the one uh, from the 1.1 1 .1 router by a uh, dynamically okay and the admin administrative distance is 5 now right now this static the static route that i have it's not being used so as you can see here the admin distance is 10 but for the route that i'm getting the admin distance is 5 okay so uh, it's because I have the um, retrieve default gateway from the server enabled in here and also the override internal DNS. Let's say I disable this, click OK, check the route again, and I see that my static route that I have in here is being used. OK. So I'll enable this again and I can let's say delete this route in here and it's using the uh, main router uh, default gateway routes that it received using the DHCP and now I already have the policy configured in here that allow the internal network to go to the one and let's go ahead and try to ping again uh, this is the port gate. Let's use the windows. And it is pinging. Okay. Now, uh, there is another um, scenario for configuring the one interface, which is tri triple PoE. That's not very common, but we'll have another video uh, <clears throat> explaining how we configure triple PoE, where it involves authentication, um, username, and password. And if your ISP uh, asked you to do triple PoE, or, uh, you know, it only support triple BOE, which is very less likely, you know, you'll have to configure triple BOE. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and stay tuned for future videos.